My grandfather opened the first Jerry's. It was here in Pikeville as a franchise. Um, there's not many left now. There's one, I think, in Paris, Kentucky is the last one that's around. So um, he owned it for a long time. Then my mom owned it, um, uncle and his son and my cousin. So around the time they did the 100 year anniversary of Pikeville High School, my mom thought it'd be a good idea to do the Jerry's, kind of a Jerry's weekend that weekend. So it was a, um, we did it the first time. It was just a Friday, Saturday and we did some of the food items, the popular items from the original menu that people tend to like. My grandfather owned it. I mean, we always had dinner up there, you know, at least once a week with them. There, there was a big round table that was in the back that we all would sit at, you know, kind of as a family and eat. And then when my mom owned it, she didn't own it very long. It was just about a year. Um, but I was up there all the time, especially in the summer, I would go up there. I worked there for a very short while, uh, back in the kitchen, washing dishes and stuff like that. But yeah, we were always at Jerry's. Yeah, we're doing um, the J-Boy, which is everybody's favorite, which is basically like a double-decker hamburger. Um, the Champ Sandwich, um, which is just like a ham sandwich kind of on a hoagie. Their coleslaw, which everybody really likes, comes on the J-Boy plate, the Champ plate. Italian-style spaghetti, as it's called, but um, which is also a big seller. We actually sold that down at Slice for a little while, too. Um, uh, we had it on the menu up there and onion rings, and, and we'll be doing hot fudge cake as well, which is a, a pretty popular dessert when we do that. It was, the, it was more emotional when they tore it down here recently. Um, you know, my grandmother would always still come to town after, the, after they'd sold it, and um, it turned, they'd change it to a Mexican restaurant, and you know, she would get real emotional about seeing it, and, how much work and time they put into it. So it was a little bit more real when they finally tore the building down and you know it's not here anymore and it's not really coming back. And it, it was emotional to see it that way. If you're planning on coming in here for dinner, we do take reservations. Um, it's not required, but we do take them. So if, if you're gonna come in here at night after five o'clock and have, have dinner, you know, it might be good to call and get a reservation. Hopefully you can come in and enjoy some good Jerry's food and have a good day.